Good afternoon, Mullen shareholders. With me today is James Jim Taylor, CEO at Bollinger Motors. Jim, thank you for joining me today. As you know, given the poor performance of the company's stock, we were compelled to do another reverse split to work towards regaining compliance with NASDAQ's minimum bid price rule. I am very disappointed with the trading price of our stock, which I have consistently said does not represent the value of Mullen. The company has worked hard and has met many important milestones, including we are first to market with two fully certified commercial EV trucks in class one and class three segments. Mullen owns and operates our own plant in Mississippi and are building and shipping EVs in both the US and internationally with vehicles going to Europe and now the Middle East. In addition to this, the company continues to pursue many avenues to broaden its sales and distribution channels. We have grown our dealer network here in the US from starting with one dealer on the East Coast to now seven nationally. And we continue to grow, including the recently announced PAP-A Group, one of the largest commercial dealer groups in the country with major presence across the West Coast. We have conducted over 80 vehicle demos in the last quarter in a wide number of industries. And we are also now in Canada with a few different pilots, including with major telecom companies, Bell Canada. Stay tuned for more info. We are making great traction with universities and campuses across the country. We have announced the University of Virginia, Princeton, UNC, and soon many, many more, including some well-known West Coast schools like UCLA. Other important sectors we continue to make solid, good progress in, small businesses from local florist shops to healthcare providers delivering supplies, municipalities and local government from Dublin, Ohio to Raleigh, North Carolina to Los Angeles and Seattle. Large corporations like SkyChef serving airports across the country and AAA for important roadside assistance and enterprise for commercial vehicle rentals. We are also seeing great uptick in last mile package delivery with interest coming in across the country from well-known companies such as Amazon. Overall, these are very exciting segments for us. Our international reach is expanding and we have seen great interest in Eastern Europe where we have established retailers and orders. We also are now in the Middle East where Volt is very anxious for us to deliver 300 vehicles this year and have committed to 3,000 next year. So as you can see, I will admit we started a little slower than we had hoped as the overall industry has seen a slowdown in EV adoption rate, but we are experiencing widespread interest. Bollinger Motors has also reached many important milestones and I would now like to hand this over to Jim Taylor for further updates. Thanks, David. Well, Mike in Mullen's commercial case, the most important milestone that needs to be completed is to finish all the engineering and testing required to pass all the compliance regulations, which ultimately allow sales in all the United States. Well, the good news is that has all taken place, including both EPA and California's CARB requirements which opens the door to not only sales, but significant incentives as well. Second, our major milestone was to build a plant to produce the volumes that we expect to sell. And again, this has been completed right here in the greater Detroit area. And in fact, we'll be having our grand opening celebration of the plant's production of its first saleable units this Friday. Thank you, Jim. To sum up the progress we've made from a year ago to today, we've transitioned from pre-revenue product development to revenue generation for mall and commercial vehicles. Bollinger begins revenue generation with the launch of the class four fully certified electric truck. Our cash burn has been reduced with product priority focus and cash sources in place to support sales growth. We now have three vehicle lines in production, selling and producing positive margins. And we have widespread demand for our EVs from several different customer verticals. Our team continues to work towards meeting milestones and growing our sales. I remain optimistic that the company will be successful despite the challenges associated with our stock price. 
On behalf of Mullen Automotive, I would like to thank you for your time today.